He wanted this school to be terrific. He wanted the building to be terrific. He wanted the faculty to be nationally competitive. Uh, Gene Eisenberg understood the importance of uh, philanthropy in support of public education, public higher education, and we're very fortunate that uh, he was our alumnus and chose to give back to his alma mater. He was a spectacular man who was brilliant, handsome, and very successful, but very caring, especially of young people who we like to help get further education. I know myself, I paid for my own college education, and to see someone become successful and never forget where they came from and to give back in such a wonderful way that benefits students means really the world. I loved that he cared enough to come to our school to speak to a bunch of freshmen. So we had 450 students sitting in the audience, and one of the questions that came from the audience was what was one of the toughest situations you ever faced in business? And Gene was pretty humble about some of those answers, et cetera. And Ronnie from the audience actually turned and said, how about when you left Exxon and you were working seven days a week, you know, 18 hours a day, sometimes sleeping at the office, trying to turn around neighbors? And so Gene said, well, yeah, I, I guess I did do that too. He's a model for how I want to live my life. I want to remember where I came from and the people that supported me, believed in me, and helped me along the way. And the Eisenberg School of Management did that for me. One of the very important things about the many gifts that the Eisenbergs have made to both the school and the university is their effect on others. Uh, when this institution began to build its foundation and start a professional fundraising organization, and, and they put Gene Eisenberg as the chair of this foundation, that was the seminal moment in which this university moved from being a, a, a very good public university to making the move to being a first-class research institution. Alumni started paying attention and saying, hey, this is something we need to do because this university is not as fully supported by the state as we all assumed it was, and then start providing the pri private philanthropic uh, support that makes the difference in terms of the margin of excellence. Gene and, and the Chancellor asking me uh, to become more involved with the university was a key element of, of getting me off my chair and saying I owe something to this university. Uh, it prepared me for my uh, success later on in life and uh, there's a very good reason why I should share some of that success by giving back to the school. I'll always be grateful for Gene for his role in, uh, in that process. Since my freshman year, I really wanted to get involved in the community and really make sure that my experience here was great, and it's absolutely been that way. I am currently the co-president of Eisenberg Women in Business with Abby. When you walk into the atrium, you can see group projects going on, you can see people studying, um, you can see people just talking about what's going on after school. So I think the energy within this whole school is really exciting. We hear from companies all the time about the difference between the students that were turning out of Eisenberg versus, you know, many of the privates. One of the comments, though, that I frequently get is our students are hungrier. Last spring, I left for Shanghai, China. Afraid the culture change would be too much, that I'll be gone for too long, I was scared. In time, I learned to adjust. I worked hard to study the language, spent time with Chinese families at Chinese businesses. I feel that in a small way, each encounter was a moment of diplomacy. Working at an international firm, I've learned to have that open mind um, in working with other people and understanding their cultural, cultural differences. I was lucky enough to land an internship with PricewaterhouseCoopers and at the end of my internship they offered me a job. I have got an amazing education um, and the people I have met have given me the start to endless opportunities. Going to Eisenberg has opened so many doors for me. The community that I've been able to build over the past four years has been something I never imagined. 
When you look at UMass Amherst today, what you see is that it's possible in a public institution to produce the same kind of quality that we normally have characterized as pr private institutions. We have now moved up from the top 40 to the top 30 public research universities is, is in large part due to the fact that we were inspired by what the Eisenberg School of Management achieved in, a, in five short years. To really step to the next level, you know, we're looking at just building out the personnel to finding, you know, nationally recognized faculty that can make a difference in student lives. A top caliber type of faculty member that can really make an impact. If Eugene Eisenberg could be here today, I would tell him thank you. Thank you for helping me obtain an education at a world-class institution. His generosity and his value for education has single-handedly changed my experience at UMass Amherst. Even if I won the lottery, was a millionaire, I would not leave UMass and I would not leave the Eisenberg School. Gene would say, you must find what you love to do. If you love it and you give it your all, then you will be very successful. And I know that even after we leave these doors today, the Eisenberg spirit will live on.